I'm back. Welcome back, guys. I am back. I've had a busy, busy couple weeks, but I'm happy to show you my current favorites. So this is a accumulation of several months because life happens and I just, I don't have time to do month to month to month right now. Plus sometimes I don't even have enough for a monthly favorites. So I'm just gonna do when I feel I have enough to share with you. And I've got quite a collection for you. So let's get into it. So just like in my last monthly favorites, I started off with a candle and I have a candle for you today. It is the Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint Candle. You could tell I've been using it. I love this candle. It has been my lifesaver. I've had quite the stressful couple months. Probably should have it lit right now, but I'm not so stressed. I'm relaxed. So I just have just, I think it's, I think it's a winter candle to be honest with you that I just haven't used for a while and it was already on my nightstand. So for primers, I actually have a two. One is drugstore. One is more high end. I have a drugstore, which is the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer which is about like five, six bucks at the drugstore. So Walmart, Target, Walgreens, and all that. And then my high end is the Benefit Professional Mattifying Primer. This is the smaller version. This one's 10 bucks for this size, which, how many fluid ounces? This one has 0.84 fluid ounces, and this one's 0.5. So you definitely get more in the wet and wild, but I definitely like to use this in my T-zone area because that's where I tend to get the most oily. And I like a matte face. I don't want to feel like I am oil streak. <laughs> so those are my primers. This, so yeah, $10 for this, for the smaller size, like five, six bucks for wet and wild. My favorite setting spray at the moment is the NYX Matte Finish Spray. I use the setting spray before my foundation as a extra priming effect, I guess you can say, and after. And I love this stuff. This is like seven to nine bucks. I get mine out Ulta, and I believe that's nine. I think, yeah. My favorite foundation is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. This stuff is amazing. I kind of lucked out with the color. I mean, it's slightly off, but I mean, sometimes you can't even tell. I have the color shade ivory. I'm going to try and get a better color for my skin. This stuff has this little spatula applicator already to just smear it on your face. My only downfall with this foundation is it kind of has the smell of paint. I know I'm not the only one that tends to have to smell that. I asked my best friend. She said that she's, her smells like paint. I read reviews and other people are going, does anyone else think this smells like paint? So that's like my only like con about it. But other than that, like it gives me the perfect coverage. It's not quite matte, but not quite dewy, which is amazing. It's just a nice natural finish. And the best part is there's no photo flashback. So you're not gonna get that like white glare. I mean, it even like shows a picture on the back. And then it says like it was tested under seven light conditions, top smartphone models, with and without flash. And I believe this was like six, seven bucks at Walmart. And I know you can find it at Walgreens. I believe you can find it at Target, Rite Aid. I think that's it. Oh, they wanna stay on the bed. 
My favorite lashes currently are the Ilore Lux lashes in opulent and baroque. I'm currently wearing my opulent lashes right now. My baroque I, were my absolute favorites, but after like, and this is my second set in the last couple months, disappeared. I don't know where it went, guys. But anyway, so these are more on the higher end. I believe Opulent is $9.99 at Ulta and the Baroque is $10.99 at Ulta. I will include links to these down below. The powder I've used the most, I can't believe I'm so late to the game on this, but then again, I do. But it's the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder loose setting powder. This is the like smaller one that you can get in the little grab and go stand at Sephora. I just, it caught my eye. I didn't, wasn't quite ready to commit to a full size, which I, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew I was going to love this stuff, which I do. Now I'm hooked. And I don't know if you can see, but I've only got like a little bit left to the point where I'm probably going to take the little sifter out. So I, I, I still have some in here and I'm going to use this down to the last dust particle. I am going to, oh, this stuff is amazing. I have two mascaras. One I you saw in my last Ulta haul and another one is a semi-recent purchase, but it's the, eh, I can't, eh, Too Faced Better Than Sex little trial size mascara. I've had the full size before and I love this stuff. And I've heard that L'Oreal's latest mascara is a dupe for this. I mean, it like has a similar brush. The container is like the same pink color. I'm trying to track it down because I definitely want to try it and see how well it holds up compared to this stuff because if I can find a cheaper dupe for this stuff I prefer to be a cheap girl but I don't got problems splurging every now and again and the other one it will be more affordable for most girls and women out there but it's the L'Oreal voluminous mascara this is the carbon black which is a YouTube bloggers favorite mascara I mean I have so many girls that I'm following right now that are in love with this stuff and I mean it's a Kim K come on Kim Kardashian she uses this stuff and if Kim Kardashian uses this stuff it's got to be good but then again some of the stuff she uses I don't know if she just gets the good good stuff but all right it's time for my holy 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 grail to my makeup routine it's the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This stuff is amaze balls. I in the coverage. I mean, this nice little doe foot applicator. And I lucked out. I mean, I had to purchase this online and I just guessed on a color. And it's amazing. Because all my shades or anything close to my shades was constantly sold out at my Ulta's and I called like all the way up to like cities that are an hour away and they didn't even have my color. But yeah, I, oh shoot, I can't even remember how much this range is for. It's like 20 something. Ah! Sorry baby. But yeah, I'm gonna, this is, this is stain. This is my number one. So a few videos ago, I shared my experience with getting the wrong order from Kylie Cosmetics. As an update, yes, I did get my correct products, and yes, I got to keep the ones that were sent to me. So I got to keep that lip kit and the liner while also getting the correct product. And they are in my favorites. This is the highlighter I ordered in Strawberry Shortcake. As you can tell, I definitely have been using it. 
I love it. I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if you can see this glow. It gives such a nice natural highlight and it's not like you can tell I'm wearing a highlighter. It's just a nice glow, which is surprising because this wasn't like the one I absolutely wanted to go for. I wanted to go for like cotton candy or the French vanilla colors, which at some point I will get those in my collection. But for right now, this stuff is amazing. Plus I love that it has like a nice little mirror. I'm trying not to like, maybe you can see outside. Haha. <laughs> you did. I did have to like get that first layer down a little bit to get to the actual product. But there's, there's a swatchy swatchy. Don't know if you can tell. I mean, and it's still like on my finger. It is, I'm gonna add it to. My most used lip product the last couple of months. Like I've got quite the lip collection. Like I will insert a picture right over here of my extensive lip collection. But the ones I've used the most the last couple months, because I am using these things up. I mean, they're not cheap. But my lip kits from Kylie Jenner Cosmetics. So I'm just going to show you all of mine. And I'm going to try my best to show you in order that I've purchased them. But if I don't, I don't. So the first one I ordered is this Posey K, which is a nice kind of mauve color right there. Coco K, which is a nice like pale pink. This one is my all time favorite one. I mean, you could probably tell by the container that it's definitely been in and out of my purse quite a lot and rum rummaging around. But there's the color there. I love, love, love this one. You are my favorite Coco K. And then again, Chloe is my favorite Kardashian sister. I believe the next one I purchased is Love Bite, which is what I'm wearing on my lips today. This is a nice brownish purple. And yes, I think I know where she got the name because it does have the color of a hickey, but it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. This color, I wish I was able to purchase it when it was first released, which was in her birthday collection. But I'm so glad I snagged it when it relaunched. So, I mean, I don't mind it's in its the normal color, but I kind of wish it was in that gold. But this is Leo. And this color, it's a nice, like, kind of dark berry red brownish red I love I love to use this color when I want to be more vampy this color I did wear on Memorial Day and I'm so glad I snagged this one but this one is freedom it was one of her 4th of July limited edition colors and this one just is fun you know it's a dark blue and everyone's gotta have a little fun once in a while. I mean, I've gotten compliments of it. But yeah, it's very patriotic, it's very... This look goes well when you try to do like a more natural eye. But I don't, I just, I like to have fun colors every once in a while. I mean, you can only have so many, you know, nudes and pinks and reds. You gotta, you gotta have fun, right? You hear me? Next one is the one that was the wrong one sent to me, which is Exposed. And I'm actually surprised on how much I actually do love this color because at first, when it's wet, it doesn't seem like it will be like a good color for me, but as it dries, it like darkens, which is really weird, but it's a nice peachy, nudie, cool, no, not cool, warm warm nudie color and so I'm kind of glad I got to keep this one and these are the products I got 
or that I ordered that I didn't receive right away. But this is the Velvet in Harmony and the damn Gina Co Chloe Coco Gloss. This one I'm still like kind of on the fence with, but I love the color. I, I don't know how to really explain this color right here. Other than it's like, an, uh, I don't know, it's a pinky color. It's not a most used one, but it has been used. Then this is the Coco Gloss in Damn Gina. Oh, where to swatch? There we go. This is gorgeous. I typically use this on its own because it has so much color to it and it's so opaque that it can be on its own. And I just love the sparkle. So it's like a nice nude sparkle. I do feel that it does kind of clump up and the sparkles do feel a little scratchy at some times. And when I put it over another matte color, it tends to like bunch up real bad. And actually I'm gonna put it on. Where's the mirror? Come here, highlighter. Oh, there we go. I don't know. Can you tell what's going on here? Can you tell? So yeah, I tend to wear this mostly on its own when I feel like I'm in a glossy mood. My last two lip kit colors I actually purchased when she was doing her buy one get one promotion which is like amazing that is probably the best time like I I know she did extended it another couple days and she opened it to more products which I'm a little jealous I didn't hold out but sometimes if you don't go for the first time you'll miss out and I still have them in their boxes but I have got Malibu and Dirty Peach so this one's like a nice cool brownish color. Where to swatch? So there's the Malibu right there. So it's darker than exposed. But she said it look this one looks better on like more pale skin tones. But so I'm still kind of testing it out. I've used it more frequently in the last couple days. Just because it's the newer one. I I I need to give it a spin. And then Dirty Peach. I felt like I was, I didn't have like a peach color in my lip collection. So I wanted to give this one a try. So there's Dirty Peach right there. This one I do feel kind of pales me out a little bit at first and then when it dries, like it's weird how some of these colors like get darker or so as they dry. Like, I don't know if you can see on the other colors how they've shown their true color, I guess you can say, as they've dried up when they're wet. It's not the initial color. And with that last order, um, it did take quite a while for me to even get a response. Like I got the initial, like we received your order, please wait five to seven business days to for it to ship. Well, I waited five to seven business days seven to ten business days and I'm going where's my order are we doing this again I ain't playing so I got the initial the email saying we haven't forgotten about you due to the high frequency of orders because of the promotion expect longer shipping times so like another week later I get that it shipped and it said it was gonna be like delivered I think it said on the 21st of May but I actually arrived on the 20th. And because it took so long, lo and hold to my surprise, they sent me a free gloss. I was like, you know, sorry, it took so long, which is amazing. So they're definitely making up for sending me the wrong order. So I got the exposed gloss, which I thought was kind of funny. So now I have the lip kit and the gloss. So I'm gonna put the gloss right above where the lip kit was. So there's the gloss and the lip kit color is right below it. 
I haven't used this one as much, but I'm still waiting to give it a try. My last and final product is another holy grail. Like I've used this one almost every day. I'm surprised it's not on my eyes today, but it's my Morphe 3R palette. Look at these colors. They are amazing. I haven't used a lot of the colors over here as much. I'm still like testing these out. I've used a little bit more on this side. I do prefer a more matte eye, but I would have to say like I've definitely used these top three sparkle colors the most. And I tend, like you can probably see like in the actual colors themselves, like my the brush spots. But I mean, this palette is so pigmented, you guys. It is ridiculous. Like, I probably just made like, these colors themselves would probably be a gorgeous eye look. Let's see. Uh, oh my gosh, you guys, that gold. Like, look, look at that gold. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that color. Ah, it's so pretty! Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm like falling in love with this palette all over again. Makeup addict problems, I tell you. So yeah, so if you can, like if you see how pigmented this gold color is, you can just imagine what the rest of this palette is like. And I think this palette was like, was only $22, $23? Like, it is, Morphe is well priced, you guys. I can't believe I've taken so long to purchase from Morphe, and I'm hooked, so hooked. And I can't wait to get the Jaclyn Hill palette, and hopefully I catch it, and so that way I can do a review and swatches. Alright, so that's it for my current favorites. If you use any of these products, let me know your thoughts and opinions of them down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! How are you gonna treat me? You can stay down there. Stay. Say hi to everybody. Hi. <laughs> Get it. Ah, stop it. <laughs> you down. Oh, I just got gloss all over.